Hello, beautiful souls. Today is November 6, 2024, and we are in the official pregame of the Golden Age of Miracles. The Golden Age of Miracles is not anything that any one of us made up. We've had a Golden Age of Miracles before. The last one is a time known as Tartaria. Look it up. There are many people that have done amazing work on this topic and you can find the videos on youtube rumble telegram if you want to find it it's there i'm not going to talk to you about tartaria much today what i want to say is that i've been holding my breath i've been holding my breath for years it feels like you probably have felt that too we saw our world literally crumbling before our eyes everything that we thought we could depend on was being transformed in a negative way taken away from us free speech second amendment um and we were being challenged on a spiritual level more than anything i 100 percent tell you that a few years ago I was full of piss and vinegar when it comes to anything political. I had, I had woken up and then found myself aligned, feeling very, very strongly that I no longer wanted people that did not have God in their heart, that no longer, they didn't have a soul, but they were making choices for us. It affected the masses in a negative way. I wanted that to stop immediately i wanted to force it to stop immediately but of course that didn't happen i found myself in healthcare where i had been for all of my adult life feeling ostracized being used as a weapon against my brothers and sisters because newsflash if you work in western healthcare you are used as a weapon against our own society when we deliver these very, very toxic and harmful medications, there's a crumbling of systems that needs to occur. And it all goes back to the, the 13 families that are dark. They align to darkness and they are in service to self. They do not care what happens to you or me or the masses. And so the spiritual awakening is what brought us all to this day. It's a spiritual awakening. It's the spiritual work that we've done. And yes, getting out there and voting is important. Yes, being active in what really truly is igniting your soul. It's also very important. But you should never abandon what makes your soul sing, what makes you happy, what brings you peace and calm. If you are living in a constant state of anxiety because your freedoms, the fact that you have freedom is a threat to someone else, that's not living. And we all deserve better. So I want to talk to you today about the golden age of miracles that we are on the cusp of. I say it's a pregame because there's this little window of time where we go from president elect to inauguration. But the truth of the matter is, is that the being that everyone knows as Donald J. Trump has never left power. It's very widely um, document it. <laughs> Commander in chief Trump has been in charge the entire time. Things had to play out in a very ugly way for some to wake up. And in spite of that, many did not. That's their path. Some of them are here to incite chaos and fear and be in service to self. And that is their soul contract or that is their programming. That's for them. That's not for me. That's not my timeline. That's not my, not my choice of where I'm going to put my energy. I really want you to think about that. 
where will you invest your energy? Are you going to invest it in healing yourself? Because after the, the last eight years, <laughs> I feel like we all need some healing in terms of, of the, tra the trauma that we've all sustained via our government. Yes, I said it. All the three letter agencies that are overreaching into our own lives, into our information, into what we can and can't do, say, think, feel. That's not for them to decide. The great awakening is and was required to pull us out of the mind control that has been pervasive in our country for a long time, ever since ending of the last golden age of miracles. When, when the, my soul brother, Alexander walked in to the being, the human Donald J. Trump, Trump was a teenager. He's been with him for a very long time. This mission is all part of a very, very complex divine plan that has been in place for a very, very long time. That benevolent walk-in soul has worked over time on assisting not only the humans, but the galactics that we have been working with for millennia on bringing us back to sovereignty. And that's what it's about. The, the evolution of humanity takes us out of a duality state into a free unity state. Each being has free will choice. It's up to you on what you do with this information. I know the first time I heard it, I thought, how is that possible? <laughs> it takes some time. It takes some effort. And it takes opening up your heart and mind and throat to truth, a truth that you probably never saw coming because none of us were taught this, but it really does live inside you. We all have access to prime source creator, the divine, your archangels, your guardian angels, your spirit team. It's up to you on whether you engage with them or not. I highly advise it, but it's up to you at the end of the day. The goal for humanity is to wake up and reclaim our power with the intention of being sovereign, authentic, in our integrity, expanding our soul based on the lessons that we soul contracted all along the path of unity consciousness. Unity consciousness is Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is the second coming of Christ. It's that we all embody the way. And when we embody the way, then we are flooding our world with high consciousness, frequency, thoughts, actions, full benevolence, no evil, cannot exist, cannot exist. The elevation, elevation of frequency has been occurring. The planet did her part and we have supported her to do that part. The, con the collective consciousness of the populace of people on planet earth has risen through an up to the fifth dimension we are there it's not every being because some don't have that ability and it's not for everyone because some don't have that soul contract but the ones that are on the ascension path you are there even those that you may see as not awake or asleep around you they're benevolent they're good intentioned and they're in service to others and their frequency has risen too and they now can receive in truth and it resonates in their being because they have awakened and pulled themselves up out of the mind control matrix that we've all been uh, raised in. So whenever you are doing the work of along ascension, you're doing your shadow work. That's a natural byproduct that your frequency rises. And there's not a limit to that frequency. It's infinite. Now, over the course of the last few months, Donald J. Trump had been sharing what his day one policies would do. No tax on tips, no tax on overtime, flat tax to the corporate world, um, gold-backed, asset-backed currency, free or very inexpensive energy, abundance for all. 
reorganization and drastically downsizing government. It is way too big. It has grown into a beast that we do not need, nor do we benefit from. The cabal systems, the health, the financial, the education, the judicial, the government, all will be reformed because it needs to be. It doesn't work. It is broken. It has been broken for a very, very long time. And it's only been serving those at the very top of that pyramid, the 1%. We will benefit from patents being unclassified. We will benefit from things that the military industrial complex has benefited from since the 40s. It was all meant for us. And in the, the first term of JFK Sr.'s presidency, that was cut short. It was supposed to be delivered to us then. So this is the return of Camelot, where off-order technology comes in and plays a big role in helping heal the masses. Military industrial complex has been using this for a long time, keeping it to themselves as well, wanting an edge because they're war-minded. They're always thinking about battles and wars. We're thinking about love, compassion, forgiveness, gratitude. A world cannot and will not come together until and unless our leaders lead by example of love, forgiveness, unity, and compassion. Do people need to be held accountable for their actions? Absolutely. But it is not up to me to judge that. I send them love and I have faith in source creator, Mother Sophia, the universe, the Galactic Federation, that justice will be served. The crimes against humanity, against our country, treason, tyranny, taxation without representation, the crimes against little people and any living thing will all be tried in military tribunals. Those have already started. What does this have to do with DJT? Well, he was disclosing to you, Nasera Jacera. It's already a part of policy. It was stopped, halted when JFK Sr. was assassinated. It will be completed. It is being completed. The rollout is happening. Have faith. Don't think about the matrix because the matrix is crumbling. Oh, that'll never work with so-and-so. And And the laws don't support blah, blah, blah. Well, when you think back to the fact that the corporation of the United States is bankrupt and it's privately owned, it's not government. We go back to the 1776 constitution and we have a lot of rights in there that was taken away from us. And we get those back. Unencumbered. Freedom. Freedom to choose, freedom to raise your family the way you see fit, access to abundance that has always been ours, but has been siphoned away from us systematically by all these agencies that pretend to work for us. So I ask you, no matter who and what you voted for, no matter what you have been taught no matter what you thought was true, I ask you to sit with it. What feels right? What feels like freedom? What feels like sovereignty? What feels like compassion? It is not for us to judge. Judgment is low vibrational. If you are constantly on the hunt for who to blame, who to shame, who to put the spotlight on. You're no better than they are. Now is the time for us to awaken to a higher consciousness. That means you make service to other others' decisions. You give yourself love, compassion, and healing so that whenever you start to help your community, your family, your state, your country, you are intentioned in the benevolence aligned to source creator. Every single being that has ever judged me for 
who I supported, what I said, what I did, what I believed in, they'll have to deal with the, the consequences of that karma. That's okay. That's their choice. I choose not to judge. I was uh, in gripped in that. I thought it was my job to judge people for a long time, and it's not. So let's heal each other. Let's bring each other out of this fog that we've been in, this constant state of fear, flight or fright. <laughs> There's a better way to live. And it's in peace, unity, calm, love, compassion, empathy, kindness. If you don't know where to start, please start with loving yourself enough to expect better. We deserve better. We have always deserved better. And it is time that we always remember that we are worthy of better. And let's make that happen. I'm all about making America great again. And I'm all about making America healthy again. And I'm all about cutting down government. I want true and authentic leaders who understand what it's like to be persecuted for their beliefs, to fight with moral character, to understand that aligning to source creator and walking that path is not the easy path. Most of the time doing what's right is not easy, but it feels right in your being. You can do the steps, you can take the actions and you can sleep at night. If you are looking for that solace, I invite you to violetlotusenergy.com, sign up for a QET session, get rid of all the negative distortions and start a clean slate. Redefine healthy boundaries redefine what you should give your attention to heal truly heal and move beyond this that is what ascension is no one is coming to save you the spread of unity consciousness and christ consciousness comes from within us because we have chosen to do the work and there are many of us that have raised the frequency of the entire collective to help those that haven't figured it out yet that's how loving and compassionate we are those that want to sling arrows at us, we send you love, pure love, so that you can heal. Because suffering souls send out more suffering. And at the end of the day, they need love too. So please look to your neighbors. Try to resist being judgmental. Truly embody love, forgiveness, and gratitude so that we can all come together unified in our love for one another and our country. I celebrate today. I'm happy. I no longer feel like I'm being persecuted and that could just last for today. I don't know. I live in the moment. I hope you feel that way too. Many blessings. Have a good day.